Ah, good morning, everyone, and thank you for watching. Here we are, Wednesday, hump day, workout Wednesday, all these things that we like to talk about. And today, on this workout Wednesday, I really wanted to, to share with you a bunch of basic body weight exercises that I really like to do and that do have an impact in relationship to running, biking, swimming. So instead of going to a gym, a lot of the stuff you can do at home, we talked about it. actually last month we had the deck of cards challenge. So when it comes to body weight exercises, you don't have to do a lot. You know, the, their idea is really to just be consistent. So probably number one and number two are abdominal work, basic crunches, and push-ups. Number one, number two. Build that torso. And once again, you're not going to build muscle mass, which is why body weight is great. But you want to do strength. So those two I really like. To give you an example, when I run from home, I only do 30, but I do 30 crunches, and I do 30 push-ups. Just simple sets of 10. Not a ton, but I do it. Uh, the other body weight exercises that I, I like to have my runners incorporate, plank. Definitely like plank. Um, like to get up to a two minute plank um, is where I kind of like to be. We do a lot of one minute plank, but I like to get where you can hold a nice solid two minute plank with really good form on a plank too, keeping your body straight. So the hips aren't down, the butt's not in the air, nice and straight. Love some good plank. Wall squats. We do a lot, a lot, a lot of wall squats. So just sitting with your back against the wall, like you're in a chair, knees are bent at 90 degrees, ankles under knees, quadriceps parallel to the ground, wall squats are great. Love wall squats. You'd be surprised, but just doing some jumping jacks, great cardio workout. Jumping jacks or jump rope, you know. Jump rope is awesome. We use it a lot in practice. It's a great way. It doesn't take a lot of jump rope, but it gets your heart rate up. You know, so you do some nice jump rope, heart rate goes up, it's really, really good. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it, so we like that. Um, those are basically the body weights that I like. I, I don't mind doing air squats. So just standing, bending down, and doing air squats. The, the one thing with the air squats, well, two things, right? One is I don't like to go super low. So I like just to kind of go down, and I like to go down nice and slow, kind of pause at the bottom, quadriceps parallel to the ground, and push back up, keeping your back straight so you're not bending at the back and doing it. So really important. And two is going slow. So some people like they just drop too low and they change direction really fast. It can be really hard on the knees. So just kind of as long as it's a slow controlled movement, I don't mind the air squats. So those are the ones that I like. Um, exercises that I avoid doing. Um, burpees. Um, I am just not a fan of burpees. A lot of times I see when people jump back, they just kind of let their hips hit the ground. And that puts a lot of compression on that lower back. So I don't like it. It can also be hard on the knees as you jump back and your knees are locked out and they kind of come down. It's not my favorite thing. It's a tough angle to push up on. So is it a great cardio workout? It is. Um, but then again, like, so is running. So which one is better for you? In my opinion, it's running. And I know that there are people who love the burpee. Me, I'm just not your guy for burpees there. Um, I'm trying to think of any other ones that I really don't like. I'm not a big fan of the foam rolling. Um, I know it can be considered body weight, right? Because you're putting your weight on it. Um, not a huge fan. Uh, if you do practice some foam rolling, I really just like to do the front and the back of the muscle. So just the quadricep, just the hamstring. I don't like to roll the outside of the legs up and down the IT band. I'm just not a fan. Once you start doing that and you get IT issues, they typically tend to linger or it becomes something you always have to do. Um, and, and some people are great and do that. And I know there are, there are definitely coaches who believe strongly in rolling. I just look at the time, to be honest with you. Like, there's just not enough time for me to consistently do it. It's not something I'm, it's not something I'm going to consistently do. I don't need to introduce it. Um, I know lots and lots and lots of people with IT issues. Um, and a lot of those people, once they start rolling that IT band, they're just kind of stuck. That pain persists. 
and it, it flares up over and over and over again. So I really avoid doing that. And frankly, the science is mixed on it too. So you'll find some science saying, yes, you should do it. And you'll find science saying, no. I just had this conversation last night with someone about like all the different things that, that kind of come and go, right? Um, I, I'm just not a fan. Doesn't mean it's wrong. Just means I'm not a fan of it. So anyhow, what's the most important thing with these body weight exercises? The most important thing is just to be consistent. Don't overload yourself. So if you go in there and say, hey, I'm gonna do 500 sit-ups and I'm gonna do 100 push-ups, like awesome for the ambition, but it's probably not sustainable. Now, if you're the exception, that's great if you can sustain that. But most of us have a pretty busy life. What I like to do is find like a, a nice small amount that I can do consistently because I know I'm gonna get more from that. Would it be great to do 100 push-ups nonstop? Sure. Am I gonna do 100 push-ups nonstop after every run I do? Probably not. But can I do 30? Takes me less than five minutes. So I can do my 10 crunches, flip over, 10 push-ups, 10 crunches, 10 push-ups, 10 crunches, 10 push-ups, and I'm done. Really takes me about four minutes. So I can do that. So what I always talk about that once again is units you can handle. So even with your exercises, find a unit you can handle. Be consistent, it'll pay off. Thank you for watching. And as always, like, comment, and share. They help a ton, I really do appreciate it. So have a great day everyone, I'll see you soon. Bye now.